Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Explorer First Odd Nile. And for today's video, I'll be performing a quick walk around and review of this beautiful used 2010 Chevrolet Camaro SS. If you do want to know about the pricing, the mileage, and all those goodies on this vehicle and the features included, I'd recommend sticking around till the end of the video to be able to know all about the features, the mileage, and all those goodies that this beautiful vehicle provides. And special thanks to Mauda Benchada for letting me review this vehicle for today. If you do want to know about all these vehicles out here, they do sell a great variety of vehicles out here in Saudi Arabia. So yeah, without a further ado, let's go ahead and continue with the review, shall we? All right, now let's take a look at the external walk around of this vehicle. This here, I believe, is a 2SS Chevrolet Camaro. And this vehicle actually does come equipped with a lot of bells and whistles. And on top of that, this vehicle currently is actually modified by quite a bit. I believe this vehicle does come equipped with four or six different trim levels on this vehicle. This vehicle in specific does come equipped with a with like a little bit of modifications on there from like, you know, newer style Camaros. As you can see, usually the front fascia of this Camaro has that girthier front end with the halogen headlamps up front, the circular halogen headlamps, but this vehicle is actually slightly modified to have the sixth generation Camaro look. As you can see, the front fascia was actually a little bit different. I'll talk about that in details in a bit. This was the front fascia of like a newer sixth gen Camaro with the HID projector headlamps. I'm going to talk about that in a bit. And of course, this vehicle also does come equipped with what I believe will be the ZL1 hood of the newer sixth gen Camaro. So that was the front in and of course as part of the wheels this vehicle also is modified with five spoke blacked out rims from the zl1 package but regardless overall this vehicle is very beautiful over here the typical camaro logo on the left hand side and the right hand side as usual so it is slightly modified and but the mirrors the side mirrors are pretty default over there as you can see very default for this specific camaro it does have i believe the rally yellow color on there this basically signifies as the typical fifth gen Chevrolet Camaro it does have those slight side fake splitters on the left hand side and the right hand side. Sorry about the visibility. I believe it's kind of like night right now, so it's pretty dark up here. But regardless, this vehicle does have tinted windows on all the sides. All and this vehicle does classify as a coupe. So a very beautiful vehicle overall, as you can see. And it does have the fuel cap on there, the right hand side fender, uh, you know, like uh, the, the fender. Talking about the fenders, this vehicle was also, as you can see, as I've said before, this vehicle was modified to have that sixth generation Chevrolet Camaro look in the back. So these are not the typical original headlamps on there. The back lamps are actually slightly modified. And, and plus, this vehicle is very, very beautiful overall. It's got the typical sixth gen Chevy Camaro look. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the back section was also modified to give that Chevrolet Camaro, the sixth gen Chevy Camaro look. But overall, this vehicle is in pretty tip top condition. If you want to know more about the vehicle, stick till the end of the video again. And uh, yeah, that was the external walk around of this vehicle right there. As you can see, it is slightly modified and it does have the optional modifications overall everywhere. Like, you know, basically that thing adds up to give this experience a little more modified. But yeah, that was the 360 walk around of this vehicle. It also does come equipped with the sunroof on there. I'll talk about that in details in a bit. Regardless, that was a 360 walk around. Without a further ado, let's talk about the front fascia, shall we? Of course, I know the visibility is pretty low right now. It is at nighttime. If you guys do have the device, the devices that you guys are using to watch this video, if that device does come equipped with HD capabilities, I'd recommend turning them on for a seamless and high quality experience of the Chevrolet Camaro. So yeah, without a further ado, let's go ahead and check out the front end of the vehicle, shall we? All right, coming up at the front of the vehicle, as you can see, as I said again, this vehicle does come equipped with the modified front fascia right there from the sixth generation Chevrolet Camaro right there. And as you can see, as part of the sixth generation Camaro, this vehicle was actually modified and facelifted, a more like a more 
precise way to say this was facelifting and this was facelifted to have the hid projector headlamps right there as you can see this usually generally comes equipped with halogen headlamps this vehicle is from the 2010 era but regardless this does actually give you a slightly modified experience on the front end of the vehicle as you can see hid projector headlamps over there and plus you've got these u-shaped daytime running lamps on both the high beams and the normal the the beam and the normal light of the vehicle as you can see they're basically modified to have a modified experience and plus as part of the normal sixth generation camaro package this vehicle does come equipped with halogen hazards right there as you can see they're currently turned on at the moment and as part of the fog lamps it is also modified to give that a uh, sixth generation chevrolet camaro look it is fully led right there as you can see it does have the front i believe the protection guard as part of the sixth generation chevrolet camaro package as you can see it extends all the way to that side of the vehicle and coming up at the middle of course this vehicle again continues that overall look at the front end of the vehicle but as part of chevrolet camaro's tradition this front fascia is actually really angular over there as you can see it's pretty angular right here making a angle making an angle right there as part of the chevrolet camaro's tradition from the early 1900s making that v-shaped look at the top front fascia of this vehicle and as you can see as you go ahead to the right hand side we take a look at the ss badge right there as you can see this is pretty normal this vehicle is an ss it's kind of broken out there <laughs> but regardless this vehicle is an ss as you can see let's take a look at the right hand side of this vehicle Again, this vehicle does come equipped with the HID projector headlamps that's been modified to give this vehicle a basically modified experience. And as you can see, you've got the hazards right there that are currently turned on and they're running. And the same thing goes with the, uh, the fog lamps down below. So yeah, that out there was the front end of the vehicle. And of course, giving this vehicle a girthy front end, basically adding up to the tradition of muscle cars. As you can see, very, very beautiful front end over there. Giving that V-shape experience on the front. The same thing goes at the bottom, giving you this very big open inline inlet over there that basically, lets, that basically lets in the air inside the vehicle. So yeah, that over there was the front end of the vehicle without a further ado let's go ahead and check out the back end of the vehicle shall we the rear end so yeah all right there went the front end of the vehicle right there now let's take a look at the back section of this vehicle it does have the traditional camaro side fender lamps over there that are illuminated on both sides of this vehicle again giving this vehicle a very girthy look as you can see this looks awesome right there a very very cool vehicle out here muscle car of course but this muscle car unlike the dodge challenger and charger this is actually designed to have a more track worthy look it's designed to perform better in the tracks and stuff like that more about that later let's take a look at the back lamps and the you know the brake lamps of this vehicle as you can see as part of the sixth generation facelifted package this vehicle does come equipped with the led brake lamps right there basically having this d-shaped this is more of a better angle d-shaped brake lamps that are illuminated right now and it's of, and of course as part of the hazards this vehicle also comes equipped with you know led hazards that are currently running on this vehicle and as you can see the same thing on over there giving this a 2d shape basically giving this like vehicle a 2d shape over there uh what can i second i can't really describe that but this basically translate this vehicle to have like two of these d shapes on the other side as well giving you that sixth generation chevrolet camaro look with the back lamps that are led and the hazards lamps that are led as well as you can see those over there was is the reverse lamps the same thing on the other end over there i'll take a look at that in a bit and as you can see very very beautiful sixth generation facelifted camaro over here usually on the fifth gen this vehicle does come equipped with halogen brake lamps that are a bit more large in comparison with the size and as you can see as part of the 2ss package this vehicle does come equipped with a very beautiful spoiler on the back i believe this is fully carbon fiber right there giving this vehicle a very very cool look and of course just like that charger from before increasing the aerodynamic capabilities of this vehicle right there and of course this vehicle is part of the ss package as i've said before a very beautiful back you know the windshield over there of this vehicle designed to give that fifth generation camaro look and as we come in the bottom 
of this back section, we're greeted with that very famous Chevrolet logo on the back right there. So, yeah, and if you've got this really beautiful back brake lamps. Whenever you sort of break them, you know, push the brakes, this lamp illuminates and turns on. It gives a dominating experience in the back, okay? And the Chevrolet experience over there, the Chevrolet badge over there. And the same thing on the right-hand side, we're, we're greeted with very beautiful led brake lamps that are currently turned on with the hazard lamps that are going on at the moment and you've got yourself the same thing on the right hand side the led brake lamps the led hazards and the reverse lamps right there and on the right hand side we also as part of the ss package this vehicle does come equipped with the ss logo on the back so yeah that was the top back end and now let's take a look at the bottom rear end as you can see, as part of the SS package, this vehicle does come equipped with a luxury feature with the four park assist sensors in the back right there. One, two, three, and four. I believe it's only back, I believe it's the sensors only in the back. And down below, this vehicle does come equipped with this LED, you know, nameplate illuminator light right there that's actually currently flickering on and off. Regardless, and as part of the back, as part of the, I believe this SS package, this vehicle does come equipped with dual exhaust systems that are paired with the L99 V8 in front, I believe. So yeah, without further ado, we'll take a look at the startup of this vehicle, shall we? All right, without further ado, let me go ahead and start this vehicle up, shall we? Chevrolet Camaro SS and I believe as part of the this vehicle in specific is a 2SS so it does come equipped with the L99 6.2 liter V8 that pushes out 400 horsepower I'll, I'll talk a, a little more about that in a bit and as usual as part of the V8 SS package this vehicle does come equipped with dual exhaust systems over here and over there as you can see as part of the sport super super sport package this vehicle gives you that really girthy sound and again just like before this vehicle does come equipped with an overhead valve v8 just like before with the camshaft at the bottom and the valve train components such as the lifters on the top giving this vehicle a really girthy sound at the bottom basically signifying that sound to be high amplitude and low frequency unlike ferraris of course they give you this I'm not sure about that, but the camshaft is probably at the top and giving you that high frequency sound and low amplitude sound. That's a bit different, but this over here is a real genuine American muscle. Without a further ado, let's go ahead and check out what makes and powers this vehicle up front, shall we? All right, now without a further ado, let's go ahead and take the hood off of this vehicle right there. It does come equipped with the hood release tab right over there. Yep, let's take a look at it. Move this lid off. All right, this vehicle does come equipped with hydraulic, the hydraulic with a hydraulic opener that open up that opens up the the bonnet of this vehicle. Regardless, let's take a look at the engine, shall we? Up front, we do have ourselves a 6.2 liter L99 V8 that is actually heritated from a Chevrolet Corvette. So you might be wondering, this thing is the thing that really lies on this. The thing that really makes this Camaro a fun experience would be the L99 6.2 liter V8 that is actually derived from a Chevrolet Corvette, as I said before. This engine over here puts out, I believe, about 400 horsepower and I believe around 556 newton meters of torque. All that power is handled by a six-speed automatic transmission down below. 
So yeah, as you can see, a very oh yeah, another th another part of this engine would be that this engine also does come equipped with the AFM system, active fuel management, which basically blocks off four of the cylinders and basically give you half the cylinders to run instead of eight. And we want to push this vehicle to its limits, it basically activates all the eight cylinders up front. So as you can see, let's take a look at in-depth look at this engine over here. Chevrolet batching on there, the heads over here, over there, and over there. And it does come equipped with a very beautiful V8 logo up front. L99 6.2 liter V8 from the Chevrolet Corvette. And this vehicle, just like my Tahoe, takes a 5W30 on there, Mobile One performance motor oil for all that, for all those 400 horses to act up upon this vehicle. So yeah, again, down below is a six speed automatic transmission. So yep, overhead valve again, the air intake over here, a very beautiful engine derived from the Chevrolet Corvette, the base model. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the interior of this vehicle, shall we? All right, let's lock it up. Yep. All right, now let's take a look at the interior of this vehicle, shall we? This is a very standard key over there. Of course, I've, I've for, if I've, I forgot about the key right here, this is the very typical key of the Chevrolet Camaro SS. It's kind of broken up in the bottom, but whatever. This vehicle does come equipped with the lock, the unlock, the trunk release, I believe. And finally, you've got yourself the uh, remote startup right there. And finally, the panic button right down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unlock this vehicle, shall we? So it's coming up with the typical key over there. Let's uh, unlock it right here. And second, yep, let's open it up. All right. And as part of the SS package, this vehicle, I believe, does come up with a uh, vacuum sealed window that uh, the side mirror the side windows on the left hand side and the right hand side as you can see these are actually thick with a layer of vacuum in, uh, down below to basically prevent sound to get in this vehicle and as part of the typical american muscle car package it really doesn't have that overall uh, covering on the top of this vehicle but, reg but regardless i'm sorry if the visibility is too low it's currently nighttime right now but regardless before going inside the interior let's take a look at one second this thing is bugging like crazy yeah, that, that's better. All right, now, before going inside the vehicle, let's take a look at the door panel of this vehicle, shall we? All right, so before getting inside the vehicle and in the interior, let's take a look at the door panel of this vehicle. As part of the 2SS package and the SS package overall, this vehicle does come equipped with a fully blacked out leather upholstery in there, leather interior on both the sides of this vehicle. Let's take a look at the door panel, the left-hand side, the driver's door panel over here. Wait a second, let me uh, take this window of, apart just for better visibility. Okay, right there. Yep, automatic roll down windows, as you can see. The left hand side of the vehicle, it does come equipped with the automatic roll down windows, automatic up and automatic down, as you can see. Okay, again, I'll, I'm gonna tow that to you again. So as you can see, as part of this vehicle, it's come, it does come equipped with a leather upholstery over there, full on blacked out interior. Let's take a look at the side panel over here. Let's start from the very bottom. Let's take this window down for you. All right, one second. Okay, let's take a look at here. This vehicle does come equipped with a stealthy side mirror over there that basically increases the aerodynamic capabilities of the Chevrolet Camaro. Let's go bottom, let's go at the bottom. As you can see, as part of the standard muscle car feature, oh my God, this is weird. Okay, that's a lot of sound over there. As part of this muscle car, I mean, as part of the uh, American muscle car system, this vehicle does come equipped with the automatic adjustable side mirrors over there. Just like that GMC Sierra from before, you select a lamp, you select a uh, mirror, and basically you'll have the capability to adjust them automatically <laughs> right there. As you can see, yep, let's turn that off. Uh, the same thing goes on the right-hand side of the vehicle over there. And when we go down below, as I said before, this vehicle does come equipped with the automatic up and automatic down windows right over there. The same thing goes for the right-hand side as well. Automatic down and automatic up. Typical GM interior design over here. And as you can see down below, we do have ourselves the holder to actually lock this vehicle in there. And a very typical chromed out handlebar right there and of course this vehicle okay and uh, this vehicle just coming with a trunk release button on the side left hand side of this door panel i mean this is electronically adjustable and of course as part of the ss package this vehicle does come equipped with a boston acoustics premium audio system i believe this here is a nine speaker audio system all over the vehicle nine speaker audio on a coupe can you believe that <laughs> All right, now let's take a look at the interior of this vehicle, shall we? So this vehicle, again, is a two-door coupe right here. 
and let's get let's hop in it's a very typical gm design over here chevrolet on there right over there basically designating this vehicle will be a chevrolet of course it is a chevrolet we've got the typical gm tire readouts over there and as part of the gcc package okay that over there would be the vin number 2g1 fk1 ejxa 9 that would be the vin number and you can check it out you can know about all the features of this vehicle and of course as part of the ss package let's take a look at the seats over here this vehicle oh my god that is a lot of sound one second let me turn this off again yeah, okay. As part of the SS package, this vehicle does come equipped with a typical leather, uh, blacked out leather SS trim over here. The SS on the uh, head section of the seat, the headrest right there, and a very typical blacked out leather interior. I believe the seat is heated and cooled. Not sure about that. And of course, this vehicle does come equipped with the electronic seats over here, electronically adjustable, goes front, back down and up and electronic lumbar supported on the right hand side as part of the muscle car package it gives you very girthy side ends over here over there and over there yep and let me try to take this apart over here i'm not sure about that okay yeah i'm not sure about it of course this vehicle does come equipped with the side airbags over there let's hop in i'm sorry about the visibility of here it's pretty dark let's take a look at the back we do have ourselves uh four seats in there but i i don't think Anyone can ever sit all the way back there. <laughs> it's pretty small, extremely small leg room on the back right there, but very typical American muscle over here. You've got yourself some hooks for basically putting your uh, clothes on. I'm not sure if I can reach there. It's pretty small in here. A very typical coupe. Without a further ado, let's take a look. Okay, and of course, I believe the lights over here are actually modified as well. LED lights over there, regardless. And this was modified as well let's take a look at the steering wheel over here this vehicle does come equipped with a three-spoked racket pinion steering wheel right there let's go ahead and start this vehicle up again one second let me close the door right there all right let's go ahead and start this up all right this is what be the interior startup of the vehicle right there okay Very typical startup American Muscle 6.2 uh, liter V8 right there from the interior. Let's take a look at the steering wheel over here. This vehicle does come equipped with a automatically adjustable rack and pinion steering wheel out here. Very easy to control on the left hand side and the right hand side. As you can see, this one was a steering wheel. That's at, the, at the left hand side of this vehicle, I mean, at the left hand side of the steering wheel, this vehicle, this come equipped with a three spoke steering wheel again. At the left hand side, we'll take a look at the cruise control over here. This is, I believe, an adaptive cruise control system on the vehicle. You can control the speeds, variable speeds on the highway. If you want to go 65 miles per hour, whatever, you can adjust the speed according to your preference. And over here, this so over here is again the spoke going down there. And of course, as part of the SS package, this vehicle does come equipped with the SS logo down below and the horn over here very typical horn gm horn on the, uh, over there in the middle the right hand side we do have ourselves the bluetooth controls and the volume controls of this multimedia over here I'll, I'll come to that in a bit right there as you can see volume up volume down source seek and this okay and the bluetooth calling capabilities over there let's take a look at the control center i mean the, basically the analog of uh, the control center of this vehicle this vehicle does come equipped with the typical retro style uh squared uh, basically, uh, the uh, this uh, the control center over there. You do have your tachometer on the left hand side. Basically, this is designed to have a retro look with the modern lighting right over there. The green lights that basically give this vehicle a muscle car throaty experience. The left hand side, this vehicle is coming equipped with the typical readout tachometer going all the way up to 300 kilometers per hour. That's in kilometers per hour as part of the GCC specs. And of course, this vehicle does come equipped with the miles per hour reader right down below. And when we go below with this vehicle does come equipped with the temperature reader over there it basically controls the temperature of the engine shows you the temperature over there down below and we do have ourselves the parking brakes that are currently turned on this the seat belt signs over there we go on the left hand side we're uh, greeted with this very beautiful center screen over there that basically controls your sport mode the small the modes of the vehicle the uh, uh the tire pressure monitoring system all those things are located over there and the right hand side this vehicle does come up with the tachometer that revs all the way up to 9,000 rpms so yeah and down below we do have ourselves the fuel gauge cluster right over there and the temperature cluster over there and over here as you can see typical gm controls for the lights for the hazards for the signals on the left hand side and the right hand side 
as you can see, very typical. Nothing too special about it. Typical GM controls. We do have the high beams right there in front. Yep. And very typical wiper controls over there. The same thing goes on the right-hand side over here. Okay, I'm sorry. The wiper controls are actually on the right-hand side right over there. Regardless, and of course, this vehicle does come equipped with the AC vents over here. Dual exhaust system. Let's go ahead, go ahead to the right-hand side over here. This vehicle does come equipped with a dual uh, zone climate control. And I believe this one was actually slightly modified. This vehicle does come equipped with AM, FM capabilities and all those radio things. It's kind of like slightly older. So this one actually was actually modified to have a screen over there. I believe this is a six-inch screen. Not sure about that you do have your dual zone climate controls over here <laughs> the lock and unlock button situated right over there the same thing on the right hand side and down below okay this is kind of interesting we'd have our oil pressure gauge cluster right over there and um we do have our external temperature readout tab right over there and finally we do have ourselves the battery voltameters the battery uh the voltage it's currently running in at 12 point i'm not sure probably 14 volts not sure 15 volts not sure about that and this vehicle is part of the SS trim package. Just come equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission right over there that controls all the power from that uh, from that 6.2 liter engine up front, the L99 motor. And here we do have ourselves the electronic brakes that are actually turned on right there. They're actually engaged. Very typical GM, uh, basically mirror, uh, the, 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 the middle of the mirror over there, but that basically is actually automatically adjustable. It basically automatic, automatic dimming uh, the, the rear view mirror over there. We do have ourselves a beautiful moonroof as part of the SS package. Same thing goes on with the lamps. Okay, this is a lot brighter now. <laughs> a lot brighter. A, a lot brighter. And of course, typical GM, uh, you know, as you can see, of course, typical GM, um, you know, like like the instruction over there, the airbags. It, it also does come equipped on my Tahoe right there. Same thing goes over here. Okay, this is kind of broken. It's kind of old. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, this was actually slightly broken over there. This vehicle does come equipped with a very analog mirror over there. Same thing goes. Okay, and of course, as part, this was actually slightly modified to have the rear camera on the back right there as you can see very typical the same thing okay and this, this vehicle does come equipped with the center control right over here very typical a center control right there that's actually very manually adjustable it's kind of older it's from the older style 2010s retro style over here a dual cup holder right over there the bot in the middle and of course in the right hand side you do have your passenger seats over there very very typical interior of this vehicle so yeah Finally, for the final part of the video, let's go ahead and check out, let's talk with the owner, shall we? I mean, let's talk with the guy that works here, shall we? All right. All right, here we are back home. I really was about to talk to that guy, but apparently it turns out he did not talk to me for some privacy reasons, whatever. I'm going to tell you about the pricing, the mileage, and all those goodies about that Chevrolet Camaro SS. So, yep, here we go. Okay, again, this vehicle is a 2010 Chevrolet Camaro SS with a facelift with the front end and the back end. And this vehicle, I believe, has 247,000 kilometers on there. And as for the pricing, he did not mention about that either because the original owner is not here and I wasn't able to talk to him. So I guess he loved the review regardless. Let's talk about that in Arabic. تبعني يا شباب حلا والله uh, تبعني هذا السيارة الكامارو 2010 uh, SS المحرك 6.2 لتر يعني يعني 6200 سي سي تقريبا 400 حصان وتقريبا 556 نيوتن متر ممكن ما عرفت لكن ممكن تبع الماش ممشى السيارة 2075 كيلو لا ام سوري اسف 2000 و 45 كيلو نعم 2045 كيلو الاعداد والسعر السياره ما عرفت يعني الملك السياره ما في هناك طبعا هل انت عشان انت تشوف زحف في المارد بعدين شوف السياره شوف العمامه شوف الداخليه طبعا طبعا اسم السياره في الثمنيل في اليوتيوب في الفيديو طبعا ان شاء الله والديسكربشن وتبع اللوكيشن الجوجل مابس ينزل على الفيديو ان شاء الله في الديسكربشن ان شاء الله اوكي all right, so if you did like the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications bell on. So if I like posting any future videos, you can surely watch them. This is Explorer for Zod Nile. I'm for Zod Nile, and I'm signing off. Assalamu alaikum.